In all of my unpacking career, I've seen many companies throughout time do crazy things. But one thing that I didn't put in my 2023 bingo cards was um, a review of <laughs> in your monitors that are gold, literally has gold. I have some real gold, and I'm going to compare it side by side to the camera so that you guys can also verify that these are indeed made of gold. So this is the only English unboxing and review of the Hi-Fi Men RE2000 Pro Gold. Now, the thing about these, they are a dynamic driver in your headphone. Whereas most of Hi-Fi Men stuff, they're very known for their planar. And I have not heard of Susmara. That's my next thing on the list. I really want to hear a Susmara, like, power properly. Because, I mean, we all know I have the freaking Abyss 1266. Link in the description below. So, obviously, um, I'm going to be on a long flight very, very soon. By the way, um, I've got some really big news for the channel, but I can't say anything yet. Subscribe to find out more. But, you know, I wasn't intending on doing any more videos here. Um, my last video is the uh, Ex Machina Pulsar MK2, link in the description below. These, uh, by the way, I won't talk too much about it because you can go watch my video. These are the best speakers I've ever made. I've ever made. Like, I've never heard something better than these. But anyway, back to uh, the star of our show today. So, we've got the um, I have an RE2000 um, in your monitors, 9.2 millimeter dynamic driver has something called a topology diaphragm, which is basically the diaphragm has like special shaped, like it's engineered to be perfect. You know, it says that the frequency response is 5 hertz to 20k, um, impedance is 60 ohms, and the uh, sensitivity is 103 decibels. So it's pretty high sensitivity, 103 dB is really, really high sensitivity. Um, so that means they'll be fairly easy to drive. That's really good. I mean, I would hope so for in-ear headphones. You know, but the 60 ohms, that's kind of crazy. But we don't have to worry because we have with us the HM800 portable deck. These are, from what I was told, a Chinese marketed product, which means this isn't really something the US really got promoted to. This is Hi Finance's flagship in your monitor system. Like, this is the best thing that they make. And at $2,000 for a pair of in-ear headphones is just ridiculous to me. Even to somebody like me who spends a lot of money on his equipment. I mean, go look at my videos, go look at my channel. I had to pay for a lot of those things. Sometimes companies are really nice and they send you stuff, but doing reviews means that you have to invest in the products. So I got a crazy idea to just say, hey, what about doing something that doesn't already really exist? And I looked for some really weird headphones. Because normally, dude, I'm an on -ear, around ear headphone guy, and I do not like any monitors. Go look at my posted headphone, you know, headphone experience. Like, I, I don't like IEMs, I really don't. But flagship IEMs, I never considered them. I've always looked at them from afar, like, you know, Campfire Andromeda, shout out to, uh, you know, DMS for, uh, you know, his video with Zeos about the HE1. Um, great video, by the way. Uh, Zeos is really funny. I really love his content. Um, shout out to him, by the way. So, you know, we've got a system here. $2,300 retail for in-ear headphones. That is absolutely ridiculous, but they get more ridiculous because they have literally housings made of gold. I have an actual gold bar that I have. I am gonna bring it out and I'm gonna compare it side by side to these headphones to see. So there is very few people that have these. Like the dude that I got these from came from China. This is, like I said, th this product is not a product that was marketed in the US. It's, you know, they have the RE800, which are on sale, you know, for significantly less. These are the top of the line. There is nothing better than these that Hi Fi Man makes. You know, I haven't heard, I've only heard one Hi Fi Man headphone. I heard the Edition X, and link in the description to my LCD4 review, which is where I heard the Edition X. And to be honest with you, it's very boring, very laid back, 
if you're just trying to sit and relax and listen to music in the most dull, un, un, uh, crazy, they're the opposite of abyss. High comments are the opposite of abyss when it comes to their sound signature. But, like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't help taking the opportunity to do something really, really cool for the panel. Because, like I said, no one, the only unboxing of these is in Chinese. Link in the description. I am the first American YouTuber, I'm the first English speaking YouTuber to ever, you know, do an unboxing of these. Because there was a review a few years ago. So that's another thing. These, these have been out for a few years. And, you know, I haven't even heard of these. These are, these are very rare. Like, I, I've never even seen, I've never even heard of you recommend these. I've never even heard of these in forums. The most expensive in ear headphones that I've ever listened to were a pair of Shure SE535s. Like I said, I do not give in ear monitors the time of day because I don't like stuff in my ears. I, I am a DJ, so I wear headphones on stage and I don't use these for anything. But you know, I've been traveling a lot and AirPods are just really not cutting it for me. Like, I'll be honest with you, I was, I was trying to get some Shure SE V46, but I couldn't find any in town. I couldn't find any within a reasonable time. So I found these and I'm like, they're made of gold! Like, hold on, let me grab that. Let me grab the gold. Let me get it so that we can directly compare it side by side to this. It is going to be a certified hemp bar of gold. As you can see, you can see the kind of finish. It, it's it better, like on the shiny part, it's got to look like that. You know, they say that these are electroplated with 24 karat gold. And I have never owned any luxury product that has been gold, like on it. Like, I mean, they, they're made of gold, like they have gold on them. Like, anyway, back to the DAC. Um, this is a system, basically. You know, th this was essentially, I don't want to say it was made for the RE2000 Pro, but it appears to be. But anyway, Let's open the HM800 um, portable USB DAC. You know, this is the first piece of the setup. Like I said, we're gonna save the big component for here in a minute. But yeah, we know we have a real gold bar here to compare the, you know, i 5 man 2 to see. It's a really gold. Well, I mean, for the price of $2,000 US for earbuds, that is kind of obscene. I'm just keeping it real. Like, for two grand, you could get an Odyssey LCD 3. Less than that, like, you, you, could, you could, on a good day, maybe get an LCD 5 for two grand. Maybe. 2,500. Used 2,500 bucks. And that's the top of the line Odyssey headphone. You know, Abyss, 35, 39. Four grand used. I mean, Abyss hold their value a lot more because they're a lot rarer. I mean, people don't really have Abyss. So anyway, inside the HM800, you know, it's got this cool little presentation. Yeah, uh, let's uh, let's flip it over and see what's inside. So you've got your manual. You've got a cable which appears to be not terrible, terrible quality. But I mean, okay, look, this is two ninety nine. This is a $300 deck because this is this is the solution to portable. I mean, for me, like I, I don't see how something could size these up unless you're spending like thousands and thousands more on like some crazy custom in ears that are not, you know. This is a this is the most expensive universal in ear headphone I think I've ever seen. Like I think those finals were like four or five grand. I mean. In person, definitely haven't seen something that cost more than these. Like, $2,000 for earbuds? Like, that is obscene. Like, low key, how does it, how, how do they make that much material? Like, I get it, it's hard to engineer, but it's like, I feel like earbuds, like, they could be capped at, you know, cheaper. Okay, so inside this, is this a tin? Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay, yeah, this comes out. It's a little, it comes with a carrying case. Or, or maybe, is that a carrying case? Oh, it's small. It's, it's a baby, little tiny baby thing, dude. It comes with, um, it has three sets of cables, which 
they don't look to be the most insane quality I've ever seen, but rubberized, you know, brass, oh, real metal brass accents, those are good. You know, plastic tips, I mean, that's okay. It looks like gold connectors, actual gold, that looks good. And here is the little tiny baby deck. It's tiny! Guys, look how small that is. HMP 100. But that's good! It's portable. You know, Dragonfly Red, 199. And that's a fairly good portable, you know, deck. And amp, headphone amp. You know, it's not bad. It's, it's really cool. Like, I really like it, man. The brushed aluminum. It's really shiny, the, the, the matte finish, edges, it looks durable, like, it doesn't look like a, it doesn't look cheap, like, it looks cheap, but it doesn't look cheap, if that makes sense. It looks like, I mean, it looks like thought definitely went into this, man, I mean, HM800, yeah, not bad, not bad, like I said, we're gonna do a listen. Okay, we gotta look at the manual, look at the manual, portable USB DAC, let's see, message from the founder. He's wearing a Susbara which is the $6,000 flagship headphone. Thank you for your purchase of the Hyphenman products. We take great pride, yada, yada, yada. Fang, Fang Beyond. Okay. Well, thank you, Fang. Appreciate you. Hopefully you see this video and this will be the first American to do an unboxing of these. Like, I'm serious. There is not enough, there's, there's somebody that did a review, but not an unboxing. That's American. So, you know, feels good to, to be here doing what we do. There's R2R, yada yada. Yeah, it looks like these are, they're made for these. Yeah, it looks like, I mean, that's the ones that they're using in the picture. I mean, is it made for these? I, I don't know. But anyway, now we have the main trash. Oh, but yeah, it comes with the USB-C, USB-C, I assume it's, you know. I, I have my, my laptop pulled up here. <laughs> Ignore Steve Harvey. That is so funny. I just, I like, what's life if you don't laugh, you know? But, Got this little thing here. But to be honest with you, I'm gonna hook it up to my phone first. Because that's the way I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use these with my phone. So I need to hear how it sounds on my phone. You know, for 300 bucks, it's like you can't really expect an infinite amount of substance here. I mean, with these, you kinda can, because it's $2,000 for earbuds. Like, that's insanity. Like, that, even for me, coming from a guy who has speakers that cost $10,000, an interface that costs $3,000, like, headphones that are six grand, I have a much easier time justifying $6,000 headphones than I do $2,000 earbuds. Like, like I said, you know, but I, I kind of understand. Okay, so, you know, inside, ooh, the case is really nice. It's got this, you know, cover on it, and it's got this leather box, which is really nice quality. Okay, let me see at the same time, do this. So, yep. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad. Pretty cool presentation though, pretty damn cool. Okay, I got too much packing material. So, it's got all these different tips, which are, I assume, you know, kind of important. It's got the uh, cable. By the way, I'm gonna upgrade these cables for sure because I see how much of a difference. Okay, and they are in here. So this is cool, man. I, as I said, I've never heard. I've never heard something more high end. Ooh, it comes with the. I'm gonna definitely use those ear loops. Definitely here. You know, I find that product. It's got you know, manuals, more oxygen absorbers to keep it fresh for everybody. Yada yada yada. You know. Yeah, the RE2000 Pro came out in 2021. These are new. Oh, these are new. These are not the RE2000. Like I said, these are, I swear I thought I saw one other review that was the pros. Like I said, these are really rare. I mean, I don't know. I definitely do not know anybody who's ever had these. I definitely have never seen these. So we're gonna put this here. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, let's open this up. Come on. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoo, man, they look like little jewels. They look very nice um, already. I'm already very, very stoked. Um, wow. $2,000 earbuds, guys. 
I've never had so much money in such a small place. I mean, that's two grand right there for those little those little things. Like, those are little things. But it, it, it's side by side to the gold bar. And, you know, it's... <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it matches perfect. That's crazy. They're real gold. They're real gold, man. That's insane. I just love how I also coincidentally have a gold bar. Just like, you can't, you can't make this up, guys. You just can't, you know? So, I guess I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to hook them up now. Um, RE2000 Pro. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let, let's rewind it. I just, it's shocking how much better they are than Apple headphones. I'll tell you that right now. Ooh. <laughs> but those are so warm. Yeah, so like, honestly, with these, finding a good fit is really important. Oh, that's it. Wow. Oh my God, dude. I'm telling you, these are the best. These are definitely a step up from the Shure, without a doubt. Without a doubt, these are a step up from the Shure. I'm so glad I can just go get another pair of SE535. This is kind of a unique experience, you know? No, nobody has these. Nobody has these, bruh. Ha <laughs> ha! They are the warmest headphones I've ever heard. The warmest. Like, those like low mids are just like, hmm. I feel like I got a blanket wrapped around me. I'm, I'm, uh. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely think that the low mids are the absolute most beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like, these are the nicest. So far for rock music, these are a fucking ten. Like they're so warm. Like damn. All right, let's let's put on. Uh, barely alive. Wow. Wow. Woohoo! <laughs> Every time I smile, anytime I anytime I smile, uh, it breaks the seal. It's like it's funny. Like. I can't, I can't enjoy the headphones because I'm enjoying the headphones too much. <laughs> they're, they're so, I don't know how to describe it, like, the warmth is just, oh, they're so nice. Um, alright, I'm gonna put on some of my music. Wow. 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 That's how I know this record's done. Yeah, that's, that's done, that's ready for release, I'm so stoked right now. So like, I'm listening to Barely Live and then I'm listening to my tune, it's like, I still, I'm really stoked. Love them though, love early live, or, or them I should say. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good artists, man. Let's go back to some rock music. Ooh, man, that's so nice. Mm, that's so nice. Wow. These are like soothing. That's so nice, man. Like, wow. Remarkable, honestly. Oh, man. Wow. They're the opposite of these. These are just like, dang it, it's in your face, dang it. Like, that's the abyss. These are like, here you go, here's everything. Here, here you go, here you go. Listen to that, look how inviting I am, look how warm I am, look how, like I'm chilled, like I'm relaxed just listening to these. Like, ah, I just wanna like lay down and put on some music and enjoy the sweet, soothing sounds of everything I've ever known ever. Cause these are like the most soothing, Soothing headphones I've ever heard. Like, and they're gorgeous. They're so beautiful. Mm, these are freaking warm butter. Like lobster bisque with truffle butter. Like just the most rich sounding speakers ever. Like inside of here. Wow. That shivers. Wow. <laughs> oh man, hi fi man. What the fuck? They sound so warm and just so inviting and just so pleasant to listen to that you're not listening for the detail, you're just listening to the music. I've heard a lot of stuff. I, I've experienced a lot of stuff as an artist. I've been in many studios. I've, been, I've, I've used many headphones. I've used many equipment. These are something special, 100%. Like, 
<laughs> but as soon as the cameras are off, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go lay down and I'm just going to let these carry me to bliss. Anyway, this is Fire Records. I don't have anything more to say. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. Please hit the bell icon so you don't miss a beat. This is Fire Records. Thank you so much. And uh, see you all next time. What's up, guys? Pyro Records here, and we are in Bangkok, Thailand. And I am continuing the review of the, uh, you know, I'm sorry I'm using my phone right now, but unfortunately, um, my my camera's battery died and I couldn't charge it. So uh, we are here on the 25th floor. Ooh, my ears popped. A Blabua uh, State Tower, which is the same hotel that Leslie Chow was arrested in The Hangover Part 2. So uh, bear with me, guys. I gotta find my room, and um, you guys are gonna get a first look at this right now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh! <laughs> this is fucking insane. I'm sorry. Wow. This is literally, this literally rivals Vegas hotels. I'm sorry, but like, bruh, get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. <laughs> that is actually massive, my guy. Look at that. Wow. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta set the speakers up, man. Let's put the beautiful um, hi-fi men. I, I travel with these. These are the best travel companion on the planet. Um, hi-fi man RE2000 Pro. Um, that's essentially what this video is about, aside the craziness of me being here. Um, I'm doing, um, I decided this is kind of a continuing review, but anyway, um, aside that, <laughs> they were expensive. I'm not going to lie, two grand for a pair of earbuds and a DAC, but I mean, <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta live life. Oh, <laughs> Sick, bro. I'm sorry, but wow, this is mental. This is mental. Like, what the fuck, dude? Wow. <laughs>